Vagrant is a piece of software that helps you configure a virtual machine. Now, Vagrant is used with a virtualization piece of software. In this example, we'll be using VirtualBox. If you have not installed VirtualBox, go back a couple videos and install VirtualBox on your operating system. Again, the main takeaway with Vagrant is to help you automate, automate, and automate. Vagrant helps you with the automation of an OS install. It helps you with the automation of network settings. It helps you virtually manage these uh, virtualizations across teams. It, then it helps you even automate even more with Puppet or Chef. Or you can even create a script in Bash that will automatically install software for you. Again, Vagrant doesn't do the virtualization. Vagrant sits on top of a virtualization software in order for it to be able to virtualize machines. Now, before we get started with the actual installation and configuration of Vagrant, I want to cover a couple things here first. You need to be able to understand and know what a Vagrant file is. And all that a Vagrant file is, it is a file that is written in Ruby. Again, you don't need to know Ruby, but it's really good if you do. It's written in Ruby, and this file uh, helps Vagrant figure out what to do. So what I mean by what to do, it, it configures the operating system that you want to install, the network settings, if you want to set up a different IP address for the machine, uh, different functionalities, um, depending on, on your familiarity with Ruby, you'll be able to uh, configure this file in order for it to automate all these tasks for you. Now that you know what a Vagrant file is, usually you will typically you would check in this Vagrant file into uh, your repository for your files, or you might just send this over to one of your team members, and they'll be able to configure the same setup based on this Vagrant file. So that's all there is to a Vagrant file. Now let's go over uh, and go ahead and get started with Vagrant now.